Start with today. All right. All right. So today is what? What's today's date? March? It is the 26th. Well, 27th. Is it March? Format, but March? It's, Mar it's May. May, man. Oh, May. May 26th. May 26th. Yeah. Oh, May 26th. All right. So, uh, yeah, Amazon bought MGM, I guess, today. I've... Did you hear about that at all? Uh, no, I don't know. I'm not even sure what MGM is, to be honest. Oh, it's MGM uh, Studios. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, for 8.5 billion. Yeah, MGM Studios, man. Uh, they do the James Bond movies. Oh. They do the uh, it's the one with the so lion. Gonna, so you know, whenever the movie that. comes on and it's like the lion growling. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's that one. They do the Wizard of Oz. So they're going to probably, what, use their They movies? own Dark Side of the of the Rainbow now. Put their movies on their Amazon Oh, Prime. yeah, they've got Amazon Prime. That's a good point. Yeah, I didn't, that, I guess that <laughs> is a good point. Amazon is investing even more heavily in growing its position in entertainment world. Yeah, so I guess what they're going to do here is it says... The deal, which is valued at $8.5 billion, gives Amazon an extensive library of films. So I, they probably get all their studios. They probably get all their movies, all their TV shows, all their media they've ever had. That's you know, they get all their logos. Like, they can put that all on their music. The vid, they, got, they have all the services. Prime Video, Prime Gaming, yeah. Prime This, Prime That. Says MGM's whole catalog here it says uh, Prime Video... 4,000 films, 17,000 TV shows. What? 4,000 films and mm -hmm. 17,000 TV shows? That's have crazy that they would have... Amazon Prime? No. That's the MGM catalog. So now Amazon's going to probably essentially have in that. You know, oh, that's... Oh, yeah. Wow. We don't know, but maybe. So that's... Oh, yeah, I read that wrong. That's MGM. Oh, look at this. According to Mike Hopkins... Who heads Prime Video and Amazon Studios? So there you go. They oh, might be, ready. they might be ready to put their boots on. They're kick, they're, they're, they're kicking boots. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's pretty interesting, actually. Let's see what Bezos well, I mean, says. I got there. Amazon Prime, so I guess that'll give me access to a shoot ton of movies, huh? Yeah, a shite ton. You're going to get a whole... Yeah, I got Prime as well. So, maybe it'll be good. We'll see what... We're hopefully... slacking on using that Prime, man. There's multiple games that we play that you haven't even redeemed your stuff on. I've seen them. Nothing on there looks good to me, though. Oh, look at this. Uh, For example, Lord of the Rings. Wait, is in the works? A new Lord of the Rings? What? What the... You heard it here first, people. Let's make sure what we're saying here. Even though streaming is a small part of Amazon's empire, the company has focused on becoming Based a more on. prominent player in the entertainment world as of late. For example, a highly anticipated series based on The Lord of the Rings is in works. So they're saying it's in works based on The Lord of the Rings. Based on... But written by who? I hope they're not taking J.R.R. Tolkien stuff and rewriting like an the animated Lord. series or an anticipated series. Yeah, okay. yeah, anticipated. Let's see, Prime Video, which also features original award-winning shows such as Marvelous and Miss Maisel, the Marvelous Miss Maisel. The Marvel. <laughs> I said the Marvelous and Miss Maisel, The Wizard of Oz. I said that earlier. Oh, James Bond, I said that one too. What else is uh, MGM? Can can anybody think of anything? Give us some some ideas. Comment below. Yeah. Oh shoot, Robocop, man. Look at this. Legally blonde. Rocky? That's an MGM studio? I didn't know that. Wow, they've got some incredible movies, don't they? They they're getting like a piece of like cyberpunk lore. Like the whole genre has a market cap of one point trillion, seven trillion. Wait, is nothing of significant consequences for Amazon, one of the world's 
paid nearly 14 billion for in 2017 has a market cap of oh that's right they did buy them 14 billion for whole foods i had no idea that they paid that much how could whole foods be worth more than mgm studios that's that seems so backwards to me yeah that's weird that seems crazy what did they buy did they just buy their like library and left their studios or did they buy all of the studios as well Probably bought all the studios, man. Let's be real. The real Dude, financial uh... value behind the deal is the treasure trove of IP and the deep catalog that we plan to reimagine and develop together with MGM talented team. So they got MGM's team, but they said reimagine. I don't like that word. It's very exciting and provides so many opportunities for high quality storytelling, he added. Now, if they could go along with, like, the Cobra Kai type of thing that they got going currently, I would be absolutely thrilled for some stuff like that, you know? But I don't want them to take Lord of the Rings and turn it into, you know, Ring Lords, you know what I'm saying? Start, all of a sudden, it's like you know, a that's, series. That's what they're going to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, or maybe they start a series about the invisible cloak he receives now, or they tell Gollum's story, or something or, like that. Or uh, it might be nothing like that. It could be a kid's show. I don't know. If they stay true to Tolkien's writings, I'll be cool. That's all. That's the main thing I care about. Hey, what's up, Goose Boo Tribe? Yo, Goose Boo. Food is a daily necessity. I guess that's true. 14 billion versus eight yeah but the thing is is i would think that once you produce a piece of of uh material so like the wizard of oz right once they produce that movie now they have this thing that resells it's like an investment that they have that they never have to repay for yeah or or would selling food be better because people do eat and the whole world has to eat daily yeah, I mean, he's right. He could be right, though. The whole world, I mean, think about that. You have to eat. If you don't, you, you're you going to die. It's a necessity. You could live the rest of your life without watching The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so maybe, maybe there's truth in there. I can agree with that completely. Yep. I mean, that makes sense. And whenever you stop and consider that food is growing from the ground, I mean, that does take work, but technically dirt is free. You know, the earth is free. The seeds can be free or reproduced. The earth is free. The seeds are free. Yeah. Land is not free. Yeah, but once you buy it, it reproduces over and over and over. So then they're just selling it. Do, 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 do. Cash crops. That's what they call them, literally. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's insane. It does. It says right here that... um, What did it say? Amazon is... What? One... Whole Foods sells... Has a market cap of $1.7 trillion. How much is Amazon worth? They paid fourteen billion. That's such a huge number. Total assets three hundred and twenty one billion. So for them to pay fourteen and eight billion just increases their assets. Cause it's not like those things go away. They stay <coughs> right there in their pocket. And it goes right back into their total worth. You know? They cause here it is, right? They spend fourteen tri- fourteen billion to acquire Whole Foods. Now they have Whole Foods. They have a $14 billion company that's still within their pocket. And the same with MGM. That's so much money, dude. Jeff Bezos, a madman. (laughs) This this guy's crazy. God, I wonder what he's like on a daily basis. All things that I've looked at. Here you go. We're going to send you this one, all right? We're going to get a couple of Joe Rogan mics. Joe Rogan. (laughs) 
couple of Joe Rogan mics. I would love to have a nice mic with a good boom. Oh, no shit, man. I'm happy with the one I've got, but it's not a $400 one. Am I having any mic troubles? No, no, you're fine. I'm just saying, those are the ones that Joe Rogan has. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's insane. They don't even talk about MGM's worth, you know? I guess it's worth $8.4 billion. That's what it's worth to them, man. That's what they sold it. The UFC sold for $4 billion. That's a big number. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's pretty incredible. I mean, nobody saw that coming. Let's see what they do next. I think there's um talk of, like, them getting involved more in like games perhaps maybe they're gonna try to go bananas we'll see what they do imagine people doing what microsoft is doing Mm -mm -mm. yeah if they make subscriptions with games on them oh yeah that that's gonna be insane may of 1996 wow seattle washington that's so crazy. Everybody knows that he he was just trying his best to to grind it out. Anyways, yep, that's the Amazon MGM.